Lucy Terra would be an excellent substitute for Jessica Knight, particularly since NCIS, Hawaii was canceled prior to the fourth season. Lucy is a skilled spy who maintains her composure in terrifying circumstances and is fervently committed to her job. Although a continuation of Lucy's story on the flagship series would be the least that could be done for her character and would give her some much-needed spotlight, it wouldn't make up for the franchise's massive loss that came with the cancellation of NCS Hawaii. Lucy's role on the show is irreplaceable. Lucy had an unusual fact. She carried a Saiji Sour P365. The handgun is the same brand as the one that Kate, Ziba, and even Jess choose to use. Because Ari Haswari, Rudolf Martin, once took Agent Todd's SIG Sour away in NCIS Season 1, Episode 16, Beat Noir, it is noteworthy that Kate carried a SIG Sour P228. Later, in order to carry out his escape plan, he tells Larry Jeffro Gibbs to pick it up and convinces Gibbs to shoot him with the pistol. It's an intriguing nuance that ties Lucy to the history of the part. Constable Evie Cooper from NCIS, Sydney's cast may play Jessica Knight in a crazy twist, especially considering the program is currently in production. She is employed by the Australian Federal Police and works as a liaison between the NCIS Sydney Task Force and the AFP. While her work with the Sydney Task Force is still in its early stages, Antuli Narkel's character in the flagship series would be a major game changer. But weaving the reason she had to be moved to Washington, D.C., into her plot would require some finesse. Even while it would be entertaining to see Tuli's character on the main NCIS series, it is unlikely to occur given CBS has decided to extend NCIS, Sydney for a second season. Even though it would be fantastic to have Evie's personality on the main program, the value she brings to the Sydney cast is currently too tremendous to diminish. Moving Evie Cooper at this time would jeopardize NCIS. Sydney, since she is still forging her relationships with special agent in charge Michelle Mackey, Olivia Splann, special agent Deshaun Jackson, Sean Cigar, and Bluebird, Lou Gleason, Maverney Hazel. Although a powerful female character has typically played Jessica Knight's role, Sam Hanna would also be a deserving contender to work as a special agent at the main headquarters in Washington. D.C. as L.L. Cool Coolji led an elite squad of federal agents in Season 3 of NCIS Hawaii and was a member of the Office of Special Projects as a member of the cast of NCIS Los Angeles. Joining NCIS at their headquarters seems like a logical next step for his character. Hannah's return to NCIS seems possible because it wouldn't be the first time he was lured from one NCIS office to another. Along with other characters like Kinsey Bly and G. Callan, Chris O'Donnell, Sam Hanna was introduced at the beginning of NCIS, Los Angeles, and his role developed further after the show's final. Episodes 10 and 22 of NCIS, Hawaii's second season featured LL Cool J's character, who later starred as a series regular. He even had an appearance in another NCIS first series. Hawaii 50. Sam needs a new role in order to maintain his reputation after NCIS. Hawaii was canceled and broke an unwelcome franchise record. For NCIS, Jane Tennant would make a suitable Jessica Knight substitute. She would be stepping down from her role as special agent in charge of the NCIS Hawaii field office, nevertheless. NCIS, Hawaii was recently canceled leaving Tennant's character with unfinished stories. If Jane were to have a position on the flagship series, she might potentially go deeper into the Maggie Shaw cliffhanger that was revealed in the season final of NCS, Hawaii. Hawaii's cancellation is made worse by other unresolved storylines involving Jane, but taking her character to the flagship may be the only avenue for her to find closure. Tennant would have to accept a lower position in the current capacity, 
but perhaps he could take over as special agent in charge at NCIS headquarters in order to approach filling Jessica Knight's vacancy from a new perspective, rather than taking over as her replacement. Gibbs was replaced by supervisory special agent Alden Parker, who might assume Knight's duties, but never in the status of special agent in charge. So she could take Knight's place in that regard. Tenet co-stars in an NCIS Hawaii crossover episode with Jess and Torres, establishing a professional rapport with the core cast of NCIS. And lastly, Ziba herself might be the ideal agent for the position.